So in this video we're gonna talk about uh, root canal treatment or as it's professionally called endodontical treatment what is it used for and when and how can you preserve your teeth before extracting it extracting it so if you stay till the end of this video you will have a better understanding and idea what a root canal treatment is when is it done why is it done and how can you save and preserve your teeth if taken prop if, if, if you take good care of it properly so when we talk about tooth anatomy basically you have two main parts the one that you see the crown and the one that you do not see the root that is hidden between in the bone uh, so the inner layer, outer layer of the tooth is covered with enamel and the inner layer and middle layer is uh, made out of dentin and this part of the dentin is also covered and it's in, intertwined with the plastic cells uh, and with, with nerve, nerve, uh, nerve fibers. These cells and fibers come from a special place called the dental pulp which comes from a blood vessel that supplies the tooth. So this is a connection, it comes from the blood vessel through the pulp and goes there. This is where the pain comes and everything else. So when you have this basic understanding of, of, of uh, the, the tooth, the idea of endodontical treatment is when needed, this tissue, this pulp needs to be removed because of infection that has been uh, caused by this, uh, by the pulp, uh, that has been caused by the infection, is this whole pulp tissue and needs to be re re uh, removed. When is root canal needed? Root canal is needed when you have constant tooth pain and ache caused by irreversible pulpitis, which is caused most of the times by deep cavities or any other types of irritation, which has caused an inflammatory response to the pulp tissue, which cannot be settled anywhere else but to remove the pulp tissue. How do we do the root canal treatment? So, um, because of the tooth is probably dead or is infected, sometimes anesthesia is necessary or not, depending from the case to the case. So we approach the tooth, we open them up so we can have access to all the canals that need to be cleaned. Because the canal is not just a canal, it's just, we just call it a canal because in uh, real, uh, real life it's more like a river when you look at it, like a delta. You have one major canal and a lot of little, uh, little more canals which cannot be cleaned mechanically, how we clean root canal treatment, but also chemi only chemically. So this is a combination of cleaning you need to do. Why do you need to clean the root canals like that? Because you want to reduce the bacteria level to as much as possible, uh, to zero if possible, but to reduce the bacteria level to that stage is practically impossible by today, today's technology. The purpose of root canal treatment is to sever the connection between the oral cavity and the bone because from the oral cavity the saliva which is full with normal microorganisms travels through the root canal system into the bone causing severe infections such as periapical lesion, tooth abscess which can then spread to other parts of your head and neck causing severe, se severe uh, problems and sometimes life-threatening life -threatening situations. Uh, so the idea is to clean it uh, and to close it. After the closure uh, of the root canals, um, you usually put a dental post on it because you want to strengthen it. Because the root system, uh, the, because the endodontically treated tooth is basically then a dead tissue, uh, which needs to be then reinforced. Uh, it needs to be reinforced usually with a dental post which is like, a, say, a small armor uh, pose that's, uh, which is used like an armature to, to establish a better, better uh, connection between the, the re remaining crown and the root structure so the tooth does not break while chewing because when the tooth is alive it's more elastic because it's, it's a living tissue. When it's uh, is dead it dries out a little bit and becomes more rigid. Uh, it has good strength but it's more rigid, it's not so prone to elastic deformities like it is when it's a living one. You can uh, say it's similar like with a branch, if a branch is alive it's more elastic but when it's a uh, dead branch, when it's uh, dried out then it's still strong but it breaks more easily under under pressure, under force. Same things go goes with your endodontically treated tooth. 
And after that, you need to prep the tooth for best results for the crown. And if you want to learn more about uh, crowns and bridges and so on, you should check my other videos as well. So hope you guys uh, like this video uh, where I talked about endotical treatment. I hope I gave you the insight on what needs to be done for endotical treatment. And um, I, please uh, like and subscribe button uh, on my home on my home page and spread uh, and hope to see you soon in my future videos. Check my other content as well. Bye.